So I'm here talking to the team from Florida, Florida International University, Manny Dorticos, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about their project. What's the name of the project, Manny? Uh, the name of the project is the Perform Dance House. Okay, and where, where do you come up with that name? Uh, basically, because we're a, a, a South Florida climate, we're addressing very uh, particular issues of high temperatures, high humidity, mm -hmm. uh, hurricane risk. So we thought that the Perform Dance House was an appropriate title for a pavilion. Our pavilion features a multi-layered facade system. The most prominent is the exterior louvered that, that they operate when they're up. The, these mm -hmm. big overhangs? The big overhangs, okay. correct. The big overhangs, when they're up, they completely shade the exterior spaces and the interior spaces of the pavilion, but they're dual purpose in the sense that they come down and protect the house completely against hurricane winds, something very particular to our design and I think sets us apart from the rest of the competition. Now, is that all motorized or is that something you have to manually slide it's down? Not, it's not because of the because of the new affordability uh, uh, contest. Right. We decided to go with a manually operated in order to minimize cost and also uh, it makes the house completely ADA accessible. The idea is that our pavilion performs and dances to the interior conditions of its in inhabitants, but also the external conditions of the local environment. So the same panels that are providing me sun shading are also manually operated to slide down in front of the windows and protect me in a storm. Uh, correct. Um, and those are aluminum? They're aluminum, aluminum operable panels, of course. And um, also the reason why we wanted to make such an operability in our pavilion is because we want, obviously, the greenest you could be is by using as little electricity as possible. So the fact that we have these operable panels and the folding glass door system all around the house because of our open plan, we could really open up the entire house and let natural ventilation flow through the entire house, providing a very uh, cool setting for the inhabitants and using very, very little electricity. Sure, you got cross ventilation four different ways. Uh, correct. Now, what, tell me about the, are these rain barrels out front here. Uh, what we have in the back is a system of um, a rainwater collection. We're harvesting the rainwater. The landscape design is very much an integral part of our design. We, uh, we collect and we harvest this rainwater through biofiltration ponds that we have all around the house. We have an integrated uh, sustainable design by incorporating some edible gardens in the back near the kitchen so you can sort of own your own crops, very organic. And what we have here is our, our water storage tanks, which they're disguised as also planters. All, their, all our plants are native. Okay. So, yes. And it looks like these are the collection points right here, these? No, uh, the, the collection happens on the roof and okay. we filter them down. They're very hidden and integrated between uh, vertical columns and the landscape. What you see back here is a solar thermal. In essence, we could fit the, uh, the, the PV array in our very small roof, about, around 800 square feet that we have, okay, and um, offset some of that demand into a solar thermal system which we place in the south. Now, how do you guys feel about the, the budgetary constraints? I know the goal is 250000 Do you feel like you're going to be able to get in under that bar? <laughs> Uh, 250,000. We're we're very much pushing for that right now. We're under 350, which okay. is also uh, very acceptable to us at the moment. Um, we feel that in order to bring, we're very limited by the technology of our time at the moment, and unfortunately, there isn't enough competition to make this technology affordable to the public. The idea is uh, of, of this competition as a whole is to provide enough incentive and ideas to promote this sort of everyday living and hopefully it'll create enough competition so that sustainable design is really a, a holistic part of our, our lives and becomes the norm for construction. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.